Hi there, YouTube family. It's Joni from Smiling Shrinkin', and I'm coming to you guys today on Wednesday. No, yeah. <laughs> Wednesday, October 18th, 2017. I am a year and two months um, post DS duodenal switch surgery. Um, I had surgery on August the 4th, 2016. My high weight before my surgery was 378 pounds. My day of surgery weight was 325.5. Um, I came to you guys about, well, it was three weeks till plastics and now I'm 10 days till plastics. So it was been about two weeks. And um, last time, two weeks ago, my weight was um, 172, between 172, 173, right in there. And um, as of this last week, I'm at 166 and sticking. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like I'm eating more and more protein and my weight still just keeps kind of going down. But I kind of think it's a fluke. I woke up this morning and my rings were so tight. I think I have my girl time is coming. And if it's going to, excuse me one second. Um, I wish I would do it now before I go <laughs> to me down to Mexico. So um, my video today, I just wanted to go over and kind of share what I'm doing leading into plastics. Um, I started packing last night because tax season is now officially over. I do still have like four or five tax returns, but um, not as stressful as the last week has been. And um, so I started packing and doing my vitamins, getting them all ready to pack up. And I couldn't even believe it. Like, who is the ding dong who forgot to reorder her calcium citrate? <laughs> so it'll be here in a couple of days. Oh my goodness. I was like, I'm so glad I didn't wait till the last moment to notice. Sorry, you guys. I'm going to turn my music down just a little bit. Got my sweet jams on. Anyways, so I'm going to go over what I'm packing and just kind of share everything that I'm going through. Um, right now, I keep uh, getting online through uh, Real Self, which is a plastics website, and looking at all kinds of before and after pictures and lots of booby pictures. I'm not going to lie. I keep trying to pick out, what do I want? Do I want that pig? Do I want that pig? <laughs> I said I feel like a dude. I just can't get enough boobs right now. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, what else do I have going on? Oh, I am in a kind of just go over real, you know, I'm a light packer, just so you guys know. When I go to Cancun on vacation, uh, my husband and I each just take a carry-on because I am so sick of overpacking for things. But I think in this case, I might need to pack a little bit more. So um, if you have any suggestions on things that maybe I haven't thought of, please, please put it down in the comment box because I would definitely be... I'm interested in and in perhaps adding to what I'm bringing. I am going to do um, a large carry-on and just pay the money because mostly because of my protein needs. Um, I like the coffee mixed with the uh, caramel protein and I don't know for sure that they have it down in Monterey. I know they do not carry it in Cozumel or Cancun. So I thought I'm going to bring that and I can't do that on a carry-on. Plus it's so heavy. <laughs> Anyway, so let me go grab my suitcase and we'll kind of go over everything. One sec. Okay, the first thing I am going to be packing for sure are my vitamins. Um, as I said, I am still short on my calcium citrate. So once those come, I will finish. I have all the pills in there already. But once I have the little um, chews in, then I will be able to bundle them up. I always take them. Let me show you over here real quick. Sorry, I've got such a mess going. Um, when I have my daily vitamins every day, I, I know they have these little uh, lockdown lids, but I always put a little rubber band around it just so I don't ever lose them. You know, occasionally, can you see right here? Sometimes they'll pop open just a little bit. And I certainly don't want all these pills in the bottom of my purse. And um, we're trying to remember which ones go at which time of day. I just do it the one time of day. And I'm going to slide in a little video for my uh, vitamins real quick. Okay, so here's my little vitamin guy, and here's my vitamin box of vitamins. Do, do, do. And here's all my little uh, daily vitamin holders. I take vitamins four times a day. And so I used to have to go, let me come in here. Um, I had a list which breaks down everything I'm supposed to be taking. And to make it even more simple, I put it right up here, what I need to put. AM, noon, dinner, night, 
and what to do. And so when I pull my vitamins out for the day, like this one is going to be ready for tomorrow, I put a little rubber band around it just so I don't lose any pills. And you can see my, my load is a little bit light right now because I never did find a multi that does not have vitamin E. So my two days, my two containers with multis are gone. And then I also excluded vitamin E and that was by my doctor's orders because for plastics, um, they don't want you taking E because it can make your blood thin and make it hard, for, you know, make you bleed too much. So obviously we don't want to do that. Um, the other little trick, and I learned this from my friend Dara because she's so smart. Um, when she does the vitamins or does her meds, let me, let me do this first. So the first thing I'm going to grab are my AM ones, which is vitamin C five iron and one copper. So I grab out all of the containers that have a number one on it. Haha, <laughs> aren't I so smart? And there's this one, which is the copper. And normally I take the other brand of copper, but I had run out. So I'm just using up what I had left. And then the other one is the iron and I'm using the nature made iron. Although since my iron is a little low, I might change brands, but Figure, screw it, I'll just use these up. <laughs> so, um, one sec. Okay, so once I finish and I take out what I need and I'm done with these, then I flip it over this way. That way I know that all of these days have been, have iron put in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start loading and that's it for vitamins. I'm going to pack the day that I'm traveling along with the 12 days that I'll be there. So I will have 13 vitamins packed in my bag. I'm going to go over that next. Okay. Bye. Okay. Here is my big old suitcase. I'm going to take a step back. Um, I have two little uh, U-shaped pillows. One that I'm going to have in my carry-on for the flight. And, but I've heard a lot of times people enjoy having these for after surgery, just kind of propping up their neck or just to help them to be comfortable. And I'm all about trying to be comfortable. So, all right, you guys. So my first thing I've gotten here are two cases of caramel pre pr premier protein. Um, I plan on having at least two a day. That would be 24. Um, there's 18 in the pack, so I have 36, so if I need to have three, I can, because I'm not sure how hungry I'll be, but I certainly want to keep my protein up, especially as I am healing. Um, this right here is Crystal Light. It's actually a whole bunch of the little tiny packets, and I, like two cases, or two bundles full. I use about a half of one per bottle of water, and I also packed up a little multi, uh, Thing of protein bars too just just in case I need them like I said I'm a little bit picky and so I don't want to be without um okay I look like I'm very very menstrual I am not I have heard from a lot of people that the drains leak when you're um, healing and that the gauze that they put on them are not waterproof so I bring I'm bringing some big old night times and some regular pads <laughs> both with wings um, to use on my drains. Um, over here are just my regular travel, my little travel stuff. I've got body wash, shampoo and conditioner, and I am a de-esser, so that is some bathroom spray. And then this is my little, uh, <laughs> it looks phallic. This is a little lady urinal, and I've heard a lot of people who have had body lifts and tummy tucks both say that they, that this, is worth its weight in gold and so it just kind of goes up to your privates and helps girls to be able to pee standing up the part of that that is so handy is that when you have all your incisions getting up and down can be quite painful and so that is supposed to help i don't know for sure if i'll be able to use it but it was like four bucks so i'm like for four bucks i'll try it all right over here on this side um this little set of clothes over here let me switch sides so you can see better all my little coral stuff, those are all my super cute summer shirts that are a size 1X or, or a, you know, a 14, 16s. And they are starting to be too big right now. And I think they will be big afterwards. And my friend is just, Kristen is just starting to get into that size. And so, and she lives in Texas where it's warm. So I've got a stack of all my cutest clothes to give to her for that. I did buy two packs of these and they are just little really thin weight tank tops and they actually go down 
right about to my, <laughs> right over my bum and um, to put under the faja so that if it's itchy that I have a little protection on my skin. So I bought these, these are size medium. I got them at Costco. You guys know how exciting that is to be able to buy crap at Costco. That was like on my list for real. So I've got two packs of those. The other ones are just packed. Um, I did pack um, mostly like nightgowns and pajamas. And these, these are like my, the ones that I wear every day. And I'm not gonna lie, they're still size 2X and they are too big right now. But I figure between wearing the Faja and trying to not worry if anything gets um, dripped on or dirty, that it's not going to be a big deal because I'm going to, I need to be starting to not be wearing these as well. Um, I did bring one cute thing and that's this one. I don't know if you guys think it's cute, but I think it's super cute. <laughs> it's a little like just a dress, like a little night dress and it's got these cute little beads. Anyways, I'm going to wear that with a pair of capri pants if we go out to dinner. And it's kind of like a little summery dress. And then all the rest of them are just like workout clothes, like my shorts and t-shirts and a uh, couple pairs of just like stretchy pants. And again, they're size 2X and um, most of the things I'm fitting in right now are like size 12. And um, they're more like 16, 18, and even some 20s. And so I thought rather than just donating them, which what I was planning to do, I thought I can just bring them with me, wear them over the Baja, and when I'm done, I can just leave them there. I'll pack one cute outfit to bring, to travel in. Um, the thing is, is that... Okay. Um, the other thing that I'm gonna be packing, let me grab them over here, is I do have a little bit of pain medicine, um, just... That, that I have left over from my knee hurting. And I'm bringing that, it is just uh, oxycodone, which is just uh, like Vicodin or no, Percocet, sorry. And um, I just have a few of them. I'm bringing them just in case I need it. Although um, there's quite a few people down in Monterey right now that have had surgery and all of them have been just saying, just kind of blown away at how well their pain has been managed, that it's really, better than they really thought it was going to be. And so I said, oh, I love hearing that just because I am such a little bit of a wuss. Um, what else? Oh, so I'm bringing that. I am bringing, let me do one more. <laughs> just like, um, this is just like a little miracle. <laughs> it's not a miracle. It's just a little mix. And I'm bringing Benadryl in case there's itching. Um, ibuprofen for just regular pain. Uh, uh, I'd be, not ibuprofen, I'm so sorry, uh, Imodium, just in case I need it, and um, some uh, Nexium, like for heartburn. I don't have heartburn. I haven't taken it since about four months into surgery, since I had my DS, but I figured if I do have an issue, it's better to bring it and need and not need it than to forget it and then need it. <laughs> So that is, I think, about all. Oh, one other thing. Uh, of course, I'm bringing my passport and I'm bringing a check for Dr. Ceseda. That part makes me just a little bit nervous. Originally, when Dara was going to come with me, we were each going to carry half. And so I have to declare it, which um, just makes me a tiny bit nervous. But it's going to be a cashier's check. So hopefully they won't hassle me too much. Um, oh, and... Oh, one other thing that I was told that some people have brought, and I haven't done it yet, but I am thinking about doing it, is just to buy a, a blanket or a piece of fleece that sometimes, like, when there's pressure spots, like, under your breasts, if, to, to put between you and the faja, just to take a little bit of the ease on, you know, uh, the pressure off of it. And as far as just, like, medical supplies and stuff like that, I believe that the doctor uh, provides that for us and I know his nurse will be changing the dressings daily and helping us to stay clean and take showers and, and all of that and I have just read again over and over and over again what a sweet and lovely lady that uh, his nurse Patty is and so I'm sure looking forward to meeting her um, I think that's about it I cannot believe it's 10 days away oh Kristen, I know you're getting excited too. I have a girls' night one night. I have a memorial service one day. 
um, a couple last accounting appointments and then daycare for the rest of the time. So I have a hunch it's going to go very quick, very, very quickly. Um, I hope that Chemistry Queen does an update soon. And I was looking for Melly Mae too. She hasn't really done an update in a long time either. Just because again, just trying to learn as much as I can to be prepared. Um, so that is it for me. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And again, if you have any suggestions, if, if you've had plastics before, or if you've been kind of researching it or, or just, you know, you're someone who thinks of all the little things that maybe I have not, I would appreciate the suggestion. So, um, for now I will let you guys go. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Ooh, thank you for all my new subscribers. I also wanted to thank um, Aaron over at my VSG confessional and my friend Stephanie who both have been just answering all of my questions about what to expect with plastics. Um, I really, really appreciate your guys' help so much. So thanks again. See you guys soon. And I will try not to bombard you guys too much with too many videos during everything, but I, I remember that when I was planning and Aaron was the one doing it, I just couldn't get enough of those videos. So I'm hoping that if it does kind of irritate you, don't you won't hurt my feelings if you want to skip it. But um, I will try to update as much as I can so that people who are interested can know what we're going through. So, okay, you guys, for real, this is it. One more thing. <laughs> Bye.